watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WVVH TV, Hampton's Television. We are here with a very, very, very special group, No Dogs Left Behind. Just an incredible group, what they do. It, it makes me cry just thinking about it. Jeff, tell us what separates No Dogs Left Behind from, I'd say, traditional rescues, well, who all do great all work. All but what's great work, but No Dogs Left Behind fights the fight in the front lines in some of the most dangerous places in the world. We are fighting essentially for global animal welfare laws, but we are also fighting to end what's called the dog me trade. So many people in the world don't realize that dogs are being brutally beaten and tortured and consumed. We are fighting on the front lines in the most dangerous places to end it. And tell us, I know that you personally go to these dangerous places. Tell us, for example, these dogs here. Where are they from? So you have dogs here from the dog meat trade. You have dogs here from Afghanistan. You have dogs here from Ukraine. So from all different parts of the world, from Pakistan. So we, we, we are in all different parts of the world where it's the most dangerous places. And it's about finding homes for these dogs. Oh, everybody finds a home. There's no dog that doesn't find a home. So we, we go and we attack slaughterhouses, intercept dog trafficking trucks, and we treat, rehabilitate them, vaccinate them, medically treat them to get them to a point where they are ready physically and mentally to come to the United States and find a forever loving home. And Candy, we know you play a big role in this effort, and not only with No Dogs Left Behind, but with some of the other rescues here at the Hampton Classic. No. Tell us why it's so important to you what No Dogs Left Behind does. Well, I love the work that Jeff does with No Dogs Left Behind. I love the cause. I love that we are fighting for global animal welfare laws. Uh, it needs to be fair, and Dogs need cats, horses, everything. They need to be treated with laws, enforced laws, all around the world. And I really believe in it. We have great dogs here. Um, I myself have rescued over 10,000 dogs from all over. I've been working with Jeff for eight years, and uh, I think everybody needs to come down and see the work that Jeff does and meet the animals. They're incredible, and we welcome you with open arms. Thank you. M might I say that this young lady is the strength of 10 men. And I say that with conviction. This woman right here is strong as 10 men. She may be small, but she packs a big punch right here. Yes. Uh, right. Tell us a bit about this one right here. He's a, he, he's a Malamute. Ma he was a Malamute. We rescued him from the north along with 14 other Malamutes. They were going to be beaten and tortured to death. And we went in last second. We were able to intercept, get in, evacuate them. And he's the first of 14 to arrive in the United States. Well, and his I, name's Buddy. And I'd like to say also that Jeff and his team will be doing emergency response here in the United States right. and helping dogs in the United States as well. So we are going to cover the globe. Well, we are so thrilled to have you here at this Hampton Classic as part of our Animal Adoption Day. I want us to step aside and just show everyone there are lots of dogs here. These dogs will give you love, and we hope that you'll take one and give them a loving home as well. We thank you all for being here, and we really commend the work that is being done. Thank you.
We are here on Animal Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic Horse Show, one of the great things we do during the Hampton Classic every year. We're thrilled to have with us Lizzie is here from Tyler's Rescue in East Hampton. And Lizzie, you've been part of this before? I have. I have been doing Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic for, God, has to be at least like five years now? Excellent. Five, six years? Good, and it turns out to be a good thing for you, I trust, if you keep coming back? Absolutely. We did actually have one dog that was adopted straight from the Classic about four years ago. Excellent. And then, of course, the exposure and people come about. Tell us a bit about Tyler's Rescue and what you do and how you find homes for these dogs. So, Tyler's Rescue, we're a foster-based rescue right now. Um, our mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome dogs in need while providing temporary homes for dogs that wait and providing education and emergency services to the east end of Long Island. So a lot of what we do is taking dogs in and we really try to make and give every dog a second chance. So, you know, whether they've been abused, whether they just didn't work out for the family that had them, we keep all of our dogs until they're ready for adoption. And even though we tend to start out small, it really is better for the dogs in the long run because we get to put more into them and make sure that they're able to have the right home and stay in their homes. Outstanding. And of course, all these dogs do is give love. Absolutely. Tell us about who we have here. So this is Skye. Skye is a Border Collie mix. She's about two years old. Uh, she was an owner surrender. Uh, she's fairly recent and she is just a love. She absolutely loves kids, loves people, great with other dogs. She'd be the perfect, perfect dog to just chill in your home and have fun with and go on adventures. Well, let's come here. Sky. let's take a look. Hi, Sky. You want to be on tell? Mm -hmm. Oh, she is adorable. Do you like it here at the Hampton Classic? And are you going to be a wonderful pet for some very lucky family? Love you, Sky. <laughs> well, we commend you, Lizzie, for the great work that you do and wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. We're here on a very special day at the Hampton Classic Horse Show. Today is Animal Adoption Day, and we're about to begin our horse adoption, which is sponsored by Georgina Bloomberg, presented by Equus Foundation. Equus Foundation, of course, rescues horse, as does Rising Star. I don't want to slight either one of you, of course. And um, these horses are rehabilitated and then uh, put up for adoption, so they wind up with forever loving homes. Valerie, you work so hard on this throughout the year. Equus Foundation is, when I think of them, I think of you. When I think of you, I think of rescuing horses. Oh. Tell us about this day and what's going on here. Sure. Well, what an honor, Marty. Thank you for what you said. It is such a tremendous joy to be here at this beautiful, renowned horse show with the top riders and horses in the world. And here we are with horses that fell through the cracks through no fault of their own. And they're beautiful and they're valuable. And we think every single horse deserves a, a chance to shine because they're all champions waiting to happen. So thank you to you being our voice and the Hampton Classic and to all of these incredible representatives with me that are doing the great work of making horses shine and giving them safe places to go, next chapters. You will meet them here if you come to our event at 1.30 to 3, sponsored by Georgina Bloomberg, a, a top international rider. We couldn't do this without her. Jill Rappaport is our MC, you know, award-winning author and animal welfare advocate. We have Kelly Stackpole from Rising Star Horse Rescue of Wilton, Connecticut. You'll see her rescue horses here. 
Um, we, or excuse me, that's my phone. <laughs> and these guys. You know, you're supposed to silence your phone when you go on television, but uh, you know, we'll get, we'll cut you some slack because we love you. It sounded like a horse. So these guys, this is a New York trooper, mounted trooper. This is Mary Elena Moran with her super hero rescue horses. This was a slaughter-bound Percheron that almost lost his life, fell through the cracks. He's now a police horse. And look how loving he, he is. He was retrained because of Mary Elena. This is Madeline. This is Teddy, also rescued from slaughter and a great horse. He's going to be a therapy horse. So we have Endeavor therapeutic riding here. We have the Equus Effect therapeutic riding for first responders, so important. And we have the Riders Closet, founded by Georgina Bloomberg, the executive director, Christine Fitzgerald. We have the Long Island University equestrian team that needs donated horses to ride on. Another next chapter. Um, we have so many cool things going on here, and we're going to teach you about horse welfare. We're going to teach you how you can help, whether you can adopt or not, because every horse has a story. Every horse is a champion waiting to happen. Thank you to this incredible show for letting us do this. It's important where horses go next is up to us, and we don't want them to be at risk for abuse, neglect, and slaughter. Look at these beautiful horses. They are beautiful, and Beer, Valerie and Jelly, you are beautiful. We commend you, we commend Equus Foundation, and Kelly Stackpole, Rising Star Horse Rescue, playing an equally big role in saving horses. Tell us a bit about what you do. So we save at-risk horses um, from all over America. Uh, most of the horses we get are untrained. They haven't had hours of training put into them. Um, most of them are actually young and they are sound. They need time, they need patience, um, and it's been wonderful. I think this is our seventh or eighth year here, um, and we always get some adopted. It's a really amazing, um, platform to show our horses. We've got five here this year of all shapes and sizes and we hope everybody comes down and checks out what's going on here today. Well we commend you, all of you, for what you do on behalf of the Hampton Classic. I can say it's an honor for us to host you here today and play a small part in what you do and uh, we just think it's the greatest thing and thank you thank so you. much. I Valerie is like chomping at the bit here. I have to. I have to say one more thing. We were, the Equus Foundation was founded 20 years ago by Lynn Coakley. She Lynn. was a horse show mom who realized that when horses had no place to go after their show careers were over, they were in big trouble. That's how we started, as a small little backyard rescue organization. This is Lynn Coakley. Lynn, thank you. Lynn Coakley, the founder of Equus Foundation. And just tell us about this day here at the Hampton Classic, what it means to what you do. It's a wonderful day that where we can actually show the public that um, horses that have finish their careers in sport, have second careers in, uh, thanks to charities like Rising Star and Endeavor and Equus Effect and, um, and the other charities that are here um, uh, that uh, offer therapeutic services for horses and, and also rescue rehabilitation and rehoming. So um, it's, it's, we never really get this great opportunity to showcase the horses themselves. So. Well, we commend you, Lynn. Uh, it's just a tremendous thing you did. And there's one more person I'd like to speak with. Someone that probably everyone knows. But, you know, when the cameras are rolling, Jill Rappaport shows up. Actually, I was lost. I went to the other field that we'd been in for 12 years. I yeah, but now we've moved to a yeah, bigger arena. The grand field. We love it. Thank you. Well, this is such a special day, and I know you devote your life to advocating for animals. We, that is what you do, and this day in particular I know means a lot to you personally. Yes, it's my, I like to say rescue and adoption are truly my oxygen. And we have such a plight going on right now. The small animals, it's the worst it's been in 25 years, so you can only imagine what it's like for the horses. You know, it's not like putting them in your backyard and saying, okay, we'll give you some food twice a day. Yeah. So it, we deal with this day in and day out, but it's particularly very, very daunting right now. So any help, and again, you don't have to adopt a horse that's our dream and that's great but you can donate your time write a check you know support Equus get people if everybody wrote one dollar a check for one dollar we would be out of this mess mm -hmm. so it's so important 
Well, we commend you. We thank you, all of you, for what you do for our beloved horses. Congratulations and thank you. A very special day here at the Hampton Classic Animal Adoption Day, and uh, we are honored to host all of you here. Thank you. Thank you. the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WVVH-TV, Hampton's television.